I think in terms of the globalization of Jinxiao technology, in our first step, uh, we are in, in Papua New, New Guinea, and 20 years ago, this place is still experiencing, still in the midst of this uh, tribal economy, and uh, it's a great challenge for us to help them to learn modern technologies such as Jingchao technologies. So it's important for us to simplify and localize te the technology so that more people can have easy access to this technology. I believe that uh, on the celebration ceremony to um, this technology, we have uh, witnessed the ministers of the local government and uh, their chief executive join this, this celebration and they were singing and enchanting China and Jinxiao, Jinxiao and China. In order to remember this assistance from China, one of the ministers even changed the name of his daughter into Jinxiao. And since then, more and more people from South Pacific, from Africa and Latin America have shaken off poverty and live a well of life through the raising of the mushrooms in Jinxiao. We have also conducted training and out of these training courses, there are more than um, 12,000 people that have graduated from this course. We also have uh, trained 24 overseas students in this specialty. The technology has been translated into 18 languages. These talents are helping their own country and people now to live a well of life. In 2017, Jinxiao Technology has been listed as one of the major projects of the China UN Peaceful Development Fund. And we are contributing to the 2030 UN SDG, and this is our China's wisdom and China plan. Thank you.